Hello guys, welcome to another Laravel tutorial. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to validate composite unique indexes in Laravel. Uh, but first, if you don't understand what I mean by composite uh, index, let me show you an example. Let's say we have a um, subject table where a subject can have title and course ID, right? And you want combination of title and course ID to be unique. I mean, it doesn't make sense to have, uh, let's say you have biology to be subject title with cost ID 1. It doesn't make sense to have another biology with cost ID 1. So you want the combination of title and cost ID to be unique. And how we define that unique um, composite index, also known as compound index, is like this. So we are saying that combination of cost ID and title should be unique index. The question now is how do we validate this? Before we get to that validation part, let me show you the problem that it creates. Um, so I have these uh, two methods, one for create, that is store method, and another one to update subject. Both of them are using uh, request classes, which we are going to see in a moment. Let me go to the controller. So this just creates and return whatever the result is, this updates and returns the results. What I'm going to do is to call the endpoint. I have two endpoints here. In my API route, one for create subject, the other one to update. Let me go ahead and call those endpoints from, from Postman. And by the way, I have my server running, localhost 8000, and I'm running the migration. During the migration, a course was inserted into the database. So let me show you quickly. I have courses table, by the way. So I'm just inserting one course in the table. All right. So let me go ahead and try to create a subject. Uh, what will happen? Of course, we should be able to create a subject, right? But if we try to create the same subject with the same course ID, remember that that combination must be unique according to our migration. If I try to do that, I should get an error. So I get an error that says, hey, this guy should be unique, these two combinations, because we already had it. So uh, that brings us to the problem we are trying to solve with validation. Uh, now let's take a look at the the validation, what it is doing. I have this create subject uh, request class. I will go over to that class. Right now, this is the validation we have. We are not checking for that uh, composite unique index um, case. What I've done is to create a custom validator. Now, you can use uh, the built in Laravel validation rules for this, but I find uh, the, the approach here a little bit. Um, confusing might not be easier to understand for for most people that's why i prefer to go the route of using custom validate, uh, validator so let me show you the custom validator so uh, what is happening here is that actually let me apply the validator before i explain i will explain that validator in a moment so how do we apply it the same way you apply custom validator nothing special here we say new it takes the table name as the first argument. Sorry, the table name is subject. So we say subject and then key value of those those columns that belong that forms the uh, the unique index. So we have title. What is the value? The value is the incoming data, which is this title. This we are trying to access whatever that is coming from the request, right? And then the course ID, course ID, we say this course, not that, course ID. And that is it. Of course, you can choose to apply this to any of the composite columns. I'm applying it to the title, but you can also apply it to the, to the course ID. Then let me go back to Postman and try to send the request again. Sending the request, we now get a user-friendly message that says 
the combination of title course ID must be unique right this is coming from our custom validator of course you can change this message to whatever makes sense uh, to you let's now take a look at the validator to, to see what it is doing so we have uh, these uh, private properties and then the constructor takes the table name as the first uh, parameter and then we specify those columns that belongs to the composite uh, index also known as compound um, index unique index column so uh, we specify the key value you can see in our request class we say that title and cost id and the reason we are passing the values is of course we need the values to check our database table to see if those records already exist right without the value there's no way we can tell okay we have machine record already so um down here by the way this is laravel 9 project down here we have a uh, two scenario the first scenario is what we have seen when we are trying to create a new record basically we are checking whether the record similar record already exists based on the unique columns right so we say um tables for example subject where title is that title value a course id is the course id value exists this this returns a boolean if that check doesn't pass we show a user-friendly um, validation message so this is just a helper I mean you can just remove that helper method and put whatever string you want to put over here this is not like it's not required so um, that's what is happening for this line then the other case is what if we are trying to update and the record found in the table is the same record we are trying to update that is this case here right so first we get the record but then we have to supply the record id so you are going to see that during the update where we say hey uh, we want you to check that unique constraint but if it's the same record you are trying to update don't complain so we take the record id and we check if there is such record if there is such record we want to be sure we only complain we only say a uh, we only show that validation error message if the IDs do not match okay so um, that's what is happening here you can see how it is working for create then let's try to let's look at the update case I will try to have the same record first so I have cost ID one title chemistry just like I have here and of course the ID when it was created it was the first record in our database is one so I'll update no problem it returns one that one is coming from this controller method let me show you you can see that here I am saying subject where ID is the past ID update and of course calling update returns number of affected rows so it's updated one record that's why the only thing we are seeing here is one i mean you can return the entire object if you want to that's not our business in this lesson if we take a look at the database table you can see we have one subject named chemistry um, let's go back and add another subject let's call this one biology send the id is two uh, if you check the table of course we have biology with id2 now let's simulate the problem with update we are going to update course id2 Alan, we are going to update subject id2 course id remains the same for the for the first record that's for subject with id1 and title remains the same for the first subject that is chemistry so what we are trying to do is to eventually have both subject id 1 and subject id 2 to have the same cost id and title which we violate our unique constraint okay so if i try to send that the app crashes say that uh, the com um, we have a duplicate entry that brings us back to the validation if you look at the update subject request we don't have that check for 
for unique constraint for composite unique columns what we can do is basically do something similar to what we did for create case but with a little difference so i'll copy over what we have in the create paste it over here of course make sure to import the the is composite unique validation rule then in addition to that if i send it the way it is it's not going to solve our problem right it says the combination of title cost id must be unique but even if we try to update cost id one sorry subject id one i keep mentioning cost id you know subject id one has cost id one and then title chemistry even if we try to update the same exact record we get validation the same validation message right we are trying to update this record that has id1 cost id1 title chemistry so we need a way to tell the validator if we are trying to update the same record you found in the in the database please ignore go ahead and allow us the way we can do that is to pass the third um, argument to the constructor which which is this id this refers to the id of the record we are trying to update which is this same field here okay and now i go ahead and send the request you see we get one the record was updated right of course we, st we are still safe if we try to insert duplicate record for example trying to make the subject id to have the same cost id and title as the sorry subject id2 to have the same cost id and title as subject id1 we get the same validation message all right so this is one of the different ways you can validate composite unique columns for your laravel application like i said you can use the built-in validator rules but i find that uh, a little more uh, it's not as easy easy to read and understand what is going on um, like what we have here of course you can make this even more readable by breaking things into lines so it is more readable if you prefer so right so guys this is what i have um let me know what you think if this approach makes sense uh, by the way to create the the rule class all you have to do is run artisan command uh, what is it php artisan make make rule the name you want to give the rule like this and that we create the class where you can you know enter your logic all right guys so this is it for this lesson i hope you liked it please like and subscribe thank you until next time happy coding